This is a Warfare PPQ, .177 CO2 air pistol and this is a silencer and at the minute, as far as I know, there's nothing on the market to connect this to this so I thought I'd try and 3D print one if we'll find out what happened, keep watching Ok, this is a lovely pistol it's not a blowback one, it's the one that takes the magazine there. The reason I bought it is because it has an unblowback and you get a lot more shots for your gas. I just started doing this video when the gas is out, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill this up. Why waste your money when all you got to do each time is get a bit of PTFE tape. Um, this is the gas stuff, which is a lot thicker. I actually find this better. Although the first time we done it, we did use this ordinary plumber's PTFE. Now, if you don't want PTFE, it's just like this white sort of stretchy, plasticky type stuff. So what you do is just stretch it over the top. What you then do is just wrap it round, pull it tight, drop this in. Don't put silicone on it because that destroys the PTFE for some reason, I don't know why. You don't really need it. Like I say, that's such a common problem. There we have it, so that's the, that's the PPQ, fresh gas, all ready to go. So what I'll do, uh, what I'll show you is, um, this is the adapter I made. It simply slides on the, uh, the Catini rail on the PPQ, uh, works very well. The reason I've done the plastic silencer, no I didn't design this, this is just one I got a finger verse, is the, the metal one, it does work, but it's, it's quite, it's obviously a lot heavier than this, this one, and I want this for me other gun anyway, so I just thought it would also look better. Uh, unfortunately this plastic I used to print this is, is quite soft, it's not very hard wearing, it's just a PLA plastic. So I'll just leave that screwed on, I will probably end up gluing it on at some point. Uh, and obviously to load this gun, because that has to come forward, you've got to take this off every time you want to you wanna load it. Not a big deal really, I just slide on and off, there's a slight indent in there where this little bit on the barrel stick up again, you could make that seal better, but to be honest, <laughs> that, that works goddamn well. So uh, what we'll do, just fire it now, I mean I don't know how, how the sound is going to pick up on this. But, um, quite loud, I know it's a new tank, so I'll just put the silencer on now. Uh, quite a difference, I don't know if you can hear that well uh, on the camera and the mics, but that does actually make quite a difference. So, we've done a previous video on silencers, and um, I don't know why, but we never crossed our minds to like, check the power loss when you use a silencer, especially on a gun that's not that powerful in the first place. So, uh, what I'm going to do, um, I've got a Crawley all set up on another camera just beside me, load the PPQ, these are 7 grain pellets, and um, I'm going to do a couple of shots out of this, see what sort of power is, then I'll put the silencer on, fresh gas tank, so that'll be pretty even. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what the result is. There it goes, let's find out. Right, we've got oh, 1.73 foot pound and 1.67. Well, I can't see from there, I'll have to check on the camera. I think it's 1.67. So, um, okay. It's about normal for this gun to be honest, that sort of power, if you warm the gas up a bit, that will go a bit higher. So there we go, silencer and uh, .8, that's not that great. Oh, that one's out of range. Whoa! Right, there we go, just blew the end out of my silencer. Now, I, I'm not going to edit this out, because that has failed, and what I might do now is... Um, I've got nothing to lose, I'll put the metal silencer on. Now, I don't know if it's a fault with this silencer, not quite lined up properly on this um, this plastic thing, but I've had it working fine. As soon as I get my camera out to make a video, that will start going wrong, which has happened many times before, so uh, never mind, hey ho. Right. I'm just got to make sure that's on there square and tight. So it looks at this. Right, let's start again. I'll keep trying to do this test and I keep going wrong, so here we go. That. Right, I think we're out. Yeah, we're out. Okay, good job. We had a second map ready. There we go. Right, 1.54 without the silencer. God damn it. 1.52. Wow. 1.42. And you can hear now how, how this one is actually a lot better than the plastic one. I can hear now how good that is. Uh, the only problem is. Uh, and again, while I've done the plastic one, your sights 
a little bit obstructed by this bit on the top here. So as you're looking down at it, you sort of see in your sign, so allow that stop exactly on top of the sight. So if you're sitting at just on top of your end dot, then that's fine. But um, just listen to this now, that, and seeing the power, this, this is actually a lot better. Plastic signs are in the bin. I guess I'll have to use the metal one and um, just leave it on, really. Maybe get another one from the other gun. Yeah. Oh, it's got pallets. Uh, let's just do another quick test. I don't know it keeps saying range. Too close, maybe. Oh, great. Well, we're, I think we're out, pallet. yeah, we're out of pallets. So, anyway, here we go. I'll just do a little. Now we have it guys, uh, it works, drops the power a little bit. This is the second plastic silencer I've blown apart, so I think really I'm not going to bother with that anymore. I think they'd probably work better on a, you know, a stock fitting um, silencer adapter, not, not a plastic one. I think there's a problem with it lining up. So there we have it. If you want a silencer for your PPK, you're going to have to print it yourself or, you know, come up with something. So thanks for watching, hope you liked the video, I found it interesting with the power loss thing with um, silencers, I think we'll do another video testing several of our rifles and pistols, just seeing if a silencer take much on out of your gun. So this was pretty successful I think, with a proper bought silencer, I say the, the, it's a shame really, I quite like the, I quite like the look and feel of this, uh, like you say quite a size, it's quite a size difference, I think I'll stick with the metal silencer. If you want to look and feel like James Bond, get one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Be careful out there.